Hi, so for this video, we'll be uh, producing the assembly drawing for this piece here. And this was given to me by a student requesting my assistant in uh, my assistance in completing this um, paper here. So this is apparently a past paper. I'm not sure what year this is, but I'll be doing what is asked of us. Now, it is saying that we need to produce um, a full size all parts assembly, a sectional front elevation taken along the axis of the bolt, uh, this being the bolt, I'm guessing here, like this, and uh, a plan view, everything to do with plan, putting together, put it together, and the end view, probably from the side. All right, include suitable nuts and locking devices, all fillets as a radius of two. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so let me quickly set up my units um, and other stuff in my drawing space. All right, let's set up my layers. Right click, new layer, um, object. All right, um, let's change the color here to green or so. All right, um, line weighting, letting that be 50. All right, next layer will be for um, hidden layer. All right, let me change the color. Let me change the color to um, probably this. Um, let me unlock that. Changing the line weighting to um, 20. Um, I'm going to have one for center layer as or for center line as well. So this one will be called center. All right, let's make this a cyan or a pinkish color. All right, I'm keeping that line with me as well. Let's change the line type now. So I'm going here, load, I'm looking for center, center here, okay. Select center, okay. For this one here, hidden, I'm going to load here. I'm looking for hidden. All right, hidden here, okay. Let's select it in. Okay. All right. Let's close things out. Um, yeah. Let's do one for hatching as well. Hatch. Um, the color will be um, something like this. Okay. All right. Um, line weighting, line type um, should be continuous. I'm going to have one for annotation. I know. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Let's just click on it and rename. I know. Um, let's make this yellow. Okay. Line type continuous. All right. Well, let's close things out and get things going. Now, the first thing that is required of us is the um, sectional front elevation. Assuming that this is the front, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to reproduce this drawing here. All right, so let's get things going. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do, let me go to my object layer here, and I'm going to draw a horizontal line. I press L on my keyboard and press Enter. Now I'm drawing a line across like this. Um, the measurement of this is random. Next, I'm going to offset this line here up by the thickness, which is 12 here. So O, Enter, Enter, 12, and then you offset up. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a vertical line somewhere here. All right, and this is random. Selecting this line. Well, let me select this line here. Or you could offset. So I'm going to offset the distance between this center and this center here, which is 120. So I selected O, press Enter, Enter the measurement, 130. And I'm offsetting to this side, my right, like that. After which... I am going to now um, offset the thickness for these holes here. And it's saying that these holes here are 10, are M10. It means that the diameter of them is 10. So I'm going to offset 5 on either side to get that 10, like this. All right. And this here as well. All right. Then I'm going to select these two lines, TR, and press Enter for trimming. And I'm going to trim this, this this and this 
all right i'm doing the same over here as well and then i'm going to select these two lines here and i'm going to place them on my center line layer all right at this point now i'm going to type the letters lt scale and i'm going to change it um from 1 to um 10 first if nothing i'm going to re reactivate that that um, lt scale and enter 0 0.1 all right and there we have it now so that's that there now after i've finished that portion i'm now going to um, capture this line here all right now it says from the center here it is actually um as of from here to the edge here they have a radius of 20 therefore means that from here to here is actually 20. so what i'm going to do now i'm going to offset 20 from the here this direction and the same on this direction as well all right now i'm going to select these two lines here and i'm going to trim away the excess so i'm cleaning up my drawing as i go along then i'm going to start um drawing these um mounts or brackets thingy here all right now where to position those i'm going to place it directly in the center so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a line up here in the center like this the height is random then i'm going to offset because because it's the center this says that here is 40 it means that if i offset 20 on either side i should be good and i notice that this is 20 as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset 20 here then offset another 20 do the same on this side 20 and then another 20 all right it is also saying that from the center of this circle here or this is mounting point here the one is actually 36 from the top here so from here up 36 so i'm going to offset 36 up and that will locate the center all right now it is saying that the radius of this or the diameter of this here is 32 it therefore means that the radius is 16 so with this center line that i have here if i say for example were to offset um 16 up and 16 down i will get here and here so that's what i'm going to do now offset o enter 16 and then i offset up and i offset down all right these should be on my object layer placing them on my object layer all right now i'm going to clean things up a bit so i'm going to select this two line here and these two line here and then i'm going to type tr press enter and i'm going to trim here trim here and the middle portion as well here and here i can now go ahead and for here select these two lines here and then i'm going to tr enter again and then i'll trim away this top portion here and this lower portion as well and these two lines here are these little rectangle here um, represent here now um, at this point now you can start drawing these little um, mounting parts here that's these part here now it's saying that this the thickness is 10 all right i'm going to assume that that is in the center of my object so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a line from the center here down like this and then i'm going to offset five on either side to get the thickness which is there um so five so five on either side will equal to 10. all right now how far does these go um we're going to extend these line here up all right let me first delete this middle one here i'm going to extend these line up to meet um the center line here so what i'm going to do let's select this line here the center line type ex to extend and then send those line up there all right now at this point now at the center line if you notice that there is a little curve here that's the fillet thing fillet um, portion so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset um this line here up um by the fillet radius which is two all right then i am going to use my fillet tool here i'm going to change the radius to two and I'm going to fill it this to this. All right. Now, once I've done that, I can now delete this here, this line here that I just offset it. And I'm going to mirror this um, fillet there to the other side by selecting the tool, selecting the line, select the mirror tool. And then I'm going to use the center point here as my mirror line. I'm going to click there, move my cursor down, and then click. Selecting no. All right. Now, once I've done that, that's that portion out of the way. So I'm now going to um, select this line here, these two lines. I'm going to trim 
to here. Alright, now once I've done that, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this portion here. Alright, now how far does this go? I have no idea. Alright, it is not specified. Not specified. But what I'm going to do, I am going to assume this measurement. Well, no, I don't have to assume. It's saying that the angle here is 60. So what I'm going to do, let me go here. To restrict curves at a specified angle, click there, select my drop down menu, and I'm going to select um, 60 if it's there, 30, 60. All right, and I'm going to draw a line here, like this, from here. All right, and once I see that um, line up here, I know I'm in this safe. So now move my cursor to the line, and then I see that X, it means it's okay for me to click. So I click. Alright, now once I've done that, I can now mirror these lines here to the other side. Mirror these lines that I've created to the other side. Alright, so let me do the same for these as well. And I'm going to select my mirror tool. Using the center here as my mirror line, I move my cursor up. And I click on this line here. Now that has been mirrored to this side here. Selecting no, I don't want to delete this one here. After which I can now select this line and remove that from that portion there. I remember we're doing a sectional view though, so some of this will be trimmed, a lot of this will be trimmed out afterwards, alright? But I'm just recreating uh, the object as given first. Now, it is saying that this here is threaded, so you know we're going to have to represent that here, alright? So we're going to have to represent that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset um, one on these lines here inwards, and those lines there will represent my threadings. And what direction did I just offset? Inwards. Inwards. Alright. Now once that's out of the way, it's time for us to know I I um do this portion here, that this cut out portion. Alright. Now we're saying that from here to here is actually eight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset this line down eight. So O, enter, and then enter the offset distance is eight. And then I offset this down. Alright, now how far does this go? What we'll have to do, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a line down like this. Alright, so I'm drawing a line from here down to meet here like this. Alright, let's look. Alright, that's right there. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side like this. Then I'm going to select these two lines and I'm going to trim this middle portion. Alright. After which, I'm going to use my fillet tool with the radius already being set, clicking on this and then clicking on here. Alright, then I'll repeat the process here and here. Once I've done that, I can now um, somewhat delete um, this line here as it's no longer needed. Alright. Now it's time for us to draw the remaining portion. So all the things that we'll see in our sectional view or our elevation, whatever, um, we'll do draw this here. That's this um, um, bushing here, and we'll need two of these bushing, all right, for our um, pulley assembly here. So I'm going to draw that now. So it's saying that the diameter here is 32. So I'm going to draw a line down 32, 32. Um, going across, the thickness of that is not specified, but it gives us the overall measurement. Alright, so what I'm going to do, let's draw a measure a line from here to in the center, and I'm entering 20. Alright, now the diameter of that here is saying that it is actually um, um, 20 as well. So I'm going to offset um, 10 on either side of this line here, like this. Alright, let's connect um, the points. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here. Alright, once that's out of the way, I'm now going to offset this line inwards by 15, O, enter 15. Alright, and that's where that will be. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to draw a line somewhere here, like this, using polar tracking. I click, then I can simply fill it, but let me change my fillet radius back to, um, back to zero, at least for now though. Alright, so filleting this to this. And remember, we're doing a sectional view, so we're going to also fill it here to here. Alright, at this point now, we can simply mirror these two lines here onto the other side. No, I don't want to delete and fill it these in here. 
and that will represent my bushing but my bushing has an hollow portion in it all right and the hollow portion indicated here and it shows here it says that the diameter is 12 it therefore means that i am going to draw a line here in the center and offset six on either side for the other portion like that this line here can represent the center line all right let's pull this out a bit and pull it the other direction as well all right and that will represent that there no that's that i'm just going to go ahead at this point now and hatch um this here for my um section so i'm going to find my steel hatch it's somewhere in here it's labeled steel steel and then i'm going to click hatch here and hatch here i'm not going to hatch inside here because inside here is a hollow section all right so i only hatch those let's place these on our um hatch layer all right so that's that there now what i'm going to do next i'm going to draw this portion here which is the pulley wheel all right the pulley so i'm going to draw that now so this is a step down pulley so i'm going to draw it as is so it's saying that from here to here is 50 so i'm drawing a line down 50 all right each one of these thickness here is 10 so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset 10 10 10 so i'm offsetting 10 for the first one another 10 for the second one and then one final 10 for the last one there all right now i'm going to draw a line in the middle like this all right this like this all right i'm then going to offset uh well let me just draw a line here first all right and then i'm going to offset um here to here all right so he's saying that the second one is actually 40 so i'm going to offset this line here um 20 on either side so 20 on either side so 20 there and 20 down here let me select these line here tr enter and i trim away here and i trim away here and here next step is to um do the other portion let's quickly um let me select these line here and then um trim away here and here then for the last one which is 32 i offset 16 on either side all right so this is my pulley let's select these line here let's also select this line and this line as well tr enter and i'm trimming away here here um here 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 um here as well all right and this is my center line here all right now the hollow portion inside here they're saying that that is actually 20 so what i'm going to do i'm going to offset 10 on either side of this line here then i'm going to select this line here and this one here tr enter and let's trim away here and here and here remember we're doing a section it therefore means that we're going to have to trim out these lines because in here side here will be hollow tr enter and we're going to trim that out this should be on our center layer all right now that's that there now for i'm not sure how this is um designed but i'm going to assume that this one complete solid object so what i'm going to do i'm going to um select everything here tr enter and press enter again that is if you're using anything any article younger than um 2022 or older than 2022 and i'm going to do my hatching thing again so i'm hatching here and i'm hatching there let's space these on our object layer on our hatch layer all right now that's out of the way that's the pulley um it's time now to draw um well let's mirror this here to the other side as well so right here because we need two of them no i don't want to delete now what only thing that's left for us to do now is to draw this um bolt here and this is an m um 12 bolt so i'm going to draw that now so i'm going to draw a line first uh, measuring um 100 all right then i'm going to offset um six on either side o enter six for the um diameter of the bolt all right next thing i'm going to do i'm going to um now um draw a line from say here to here then i'm going to offset 25 all right and this part is indicated the treading portion of my of my bolt i'm then going to offset um um one 
All right, let me do two. Offsetting two. All right, just like that. And I'm going to select this line here, type PR, enter, and I'm going to trim here and here. All right. At this point now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset two inwards as well. So I'm offsetting two here. Or you could use your chamfer tool. It's up to you. I'm just going to draw a line from, say, here to here. All right. And do the same from here to here as well. All right. Then I'm going to simply select these lines that I just drew the chamfer up and then trim away here and trim away here. All right. Now this line here, I'm going to extend it out a bit further like that. Um, this should be um, somewhat on my center layer. All right. Now that's the threaded portion. Now there is also a chamfer somewhere here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a line here. Um, let me ensure that this is on and I'm selecting 45 and I'm going to draw a line like here this direction here once I see that X up here I click all right and that will represent that portion there and I'm going to just mirror it to the other side all right all right no I don't want to delete now for the remaining portion of this bolt here what we're going to do um, we're going to draw this here now this is an m um 12 bolt it therefore means that the head of the bolt um will be that meaning that from say um i don't know from here to here which is the diameter um the diameter will be equal to um one and a half um times one and a half the diameter plus two all right so that's kind of like a standard with these things. So that's what we're going to do now. So one and a half um, the diameter plus two. So one and a half the diameter here, which is um, um, 12, doing our calculation. So one and a half, um, one and a half times 12 is 18 plus two, which will equal to 20. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset 20. Well, 10. So 10 this direction and 10 this direction. Then I draw a line to connect. So L enter from here to here. And that will basically be my um, the width. Now for the thickness of this um, um, bolt here, um, what we'll do, we'll just say that it is equal to our diameter. All right. So we're going to offset 12 in this case. All right. All right, and then we're going to fillet the edges. All right, so what we're doing, we're filleting here to here, and then we're filleting here to here. All right, then you can easily select this line and trim away the excess, so all of this here can be trimmed away. You can also extend um, the center line across like this. All right, now um, we can leave this as is, or we could do it like, well, it will be as is. All right, now for this corner here, we're going to make the curve here um, be equal to 2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the fillet tool here, change the radius back to 2, and press Enter. Then click on this line and then this line, and then do the same on here, this side as well. All right, so that will cover that portion here. And remember that this is a section. So what we're going to do, we'll have to trim, select everything here. All right. TR, enter, and let's um, trim this portion out like that. And that will represent that portion there. Now, what we're going to do now, you could either do one or two things. You could hatch this portion here, all right, um, since it's a section, but you'll have to leave this section here because this is like a screw thread or something. Like that, sorry. All right, and we do not hatch um, fast, well, screw fasteners um, when we're doing sectional drawings. All right, so um, I might just leave this alone. All right, now that we have drawn all our parts, it's now time to do our assembly. Now, here we have that, but since this is a section, it therefore means that a lot of what we're seeing here we would not have in our view. All right, so what I'm going to do at this point now, I'm going to copy this um, first piece here and I'm going to place a copy of it to um, our down below here, like this. Then everything that I will not see, I'm going to get that out, all right? Now, 
I'm seeing that there is a hole inside here. A hole is inside here. All right. A hole is inside of here. All right. This opening here, and he's saying that this hole inside there is actually 12 mm in diameter. So what I'm going to do, let's offset 6 on either side of this thing here. All right. Up and down. All right. Um, let's select both of them and um, place them on our object layer. And let, now let's select um, these lines here and let's trim away the excess. All right. So this is my approach. All right. Now, once we have that out of the way, um, a lot of this, as I said before, will not be seen. So, for example, this here and uh, to this point here, we would not be able to see some of it. All right. So we're trimming away um, here as well. All right. And all of this here will be merged as one. So what we'll do, we'll select everything here and we'll get rid of that. Everything here will be merged as one in the section. All right. Now this portion to the base here, after the base here, there will also be a gap here. Everything is being merged as one. All right. Because we're cut, where it is cutting, it's cutting through our solid object. It's the same on this side as well. So, you know, we'll have to select these line here. Um, TR, enter. And then you can get rid of those. Um, this as well. All right. And, you know, here as well. Everything remains as is. It's no time to place or a bushing. So, at this point now, what I'm going to do, um, let me hatch everything here. Or the parts that needs to be hatched. So, I'm selecting my hatch tool here. But so let me go to my hatch layer. Um, and then select my hatch tool now. Hatching here, 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 and here, and here. All right? I'm not sure hatching these portions because these portions are hollow portions. All right? At this point now, um, I'm going to select everything here. All right? And I'm going to do a little grouping so that if in the future I need to move something, I'm not, I don't have to be going through and clicking on this and clicking on that and confusing myself. It's now time to place our bushing. I'm not sure how our bushing will be placed, but let's select our bushings and let's group them as well. So group, um, let's select, um, group. All right, let's group this one as well. And let's group our pulley as well. All right, now let's see if we can place these here. I'm not sure how these are to be placed. Um, let's see. I don't know if it goes here or wherever, but it goes somewhere though. All right, so let's just move these into um, a closer vicinity here, like this. All right, and let's move our pulley as well. I know for sure my pulley goes inside here. That's what I'm sure about. Pulley goes inside there. All right. So let's um, move it out of the way as well, just for a little while here. All right, just like that. Now, let me try something here with my um, little bushings. So here is where my bushing goes, somewhere inside here. So I'm going to move it all the way until it touches here, like this. All right, so that's my bushing. All right. Also, I'm going to move this one as well. So I'm moving it um, to here. So that's how my bushing will be placed. But if you notice something, there is a line running across here. All right. And this is representing um, the pulley here. Now, if the bushing is in front of it, we will definitely not be seeing any um, these lines here. So what you'll have to do. We'll have to type TR enter and then we'll trim here, here, and then we'll trim these as well. And that's how that portion will look. Where the two bushings meet, that's how that will look. All right. At this point now, we can now place um, our thing, um, our assembly part here where it needs to be here. Now it will be placed directly in the center here. So let's select everything here and move it. Let's move it to this point. All right, see how that fits. Now it's time for us to add our bolt. So what I'm going to do, let's select our bolt here. And we're going to group our bolt. Group. 
enter and let's move our bolt into place let's move our bolt i think um let me just copy this um cp and push it to the side i'm going to take out my center line out of this one here so i'm going to select type on group to ungroup and let's select this one here and delete it let's regroup all right and let's move it in the place now here let me draw a line here so i have something to grab onto and i'm going to select my object select move grab it right in the center there and then place it where it needs to be just like that um it seems as if we may be missing something like probably like a, a, a nut that goes here though uh, there should be a nut here but there is none in this drawing here so i'm going to leave it as is all right oh it says include a suitable locking device so we should draw the nut all right so we're going to draw the nut so what we're going to do we're all i'm going to do i'm just going to draw a nut it's going to be an m12 nut as well so you know um we're going to have we're going to need like um let's do 12 this direction and 12 down as well back 12 up 12 and this here is representing the whole portion now it's time to do the thickness we're going to add um all right so let's just draw a line here like this and i'm going to offset um 10 on either side 10 and um 10 yeah all right and then um we'll just fillet the edges so we're going to fillet all right filleting with the curves as well this line here must go now all right let's place this on our object layer object all right let's hatch um this and here if you want you could let's do that hatch here and here all right and let's um what well, let's offset inwards um or we could leave it because we're going to have these lines here anyways so let's just select everything here and group it group enter and let's move it into place so let's move um move m enter grab it here and let's place it right here all right and that will be my locking mechanism on my board all right and there you go section completed you add your labels now so i'm going to type tool palette here i'm going to look for a drawing title so go to annotation and then look for a drawing title metric that's the one i'm using imperial let's look for metric drawing title metric one to one okay that's fine with me clicking here all right let's close that out and let's double click and we'll say section three all right caps lock on section through all right um a dash a all right um scaling is a one-to-one -one, um value one apply and then go okay and then that will represent that portion there completed all right let's paste this on our um annotation layer all right let's extend this line out a bit like this and that will represent that okay so now that we have completed our sectional assembly drawing our sectional elevation whatever they want to call it it's now time to move on to part b part b is asking for a plan so you know that anything that we're going to do here is in relation to um area views or plan views so things that we'll be reproducing are this one here the bracket plan view um the bushing plan view well it will not look like this but it will look more look like this um still nothing will change um this one here as well the plan view will remain as is as well as well for as well as the boat all right so as re as recommended always draw the parts separately and then put them together afterwards so let's copy this image and let's place it to the side here all right and let's start things off by reproducing this here all right so 
drawing line. So um, let's start things off by drawing an horizontal line. Let's go to our object clear horizontal line like this. This is to no measurement. This is random. Then I'm going to offset to either side half of the radius. Well, not half the radius, half of the diameter, which is a which is a radius of 20 here. All right. So the radius is the um is what's indicating the width of this bracket here. So let's offset um 20 on either side. So up and down, offsetting that. Then I'm selecting a random point on my object like this. All right. Then at this point here, I'm going to use, you can either use the arc tool or the circle tool. Using here as my center, I'm going to draw a circle with a radius of 20. Or you can draw your cursor to this corner here. And when you see that little um, symbol up here, you click. Clean things up by clicking on this line here and trimming away the other half of this circle here. Let's select this line here and get rid of it. No further use. Oh, well, let's keep it there for a little while. All right, and I'm going to draw a circle here to represent this um, hole here. And this says that this hole here is an M10 hole. It means that the diameter of this hole here is um, 10 millimeters. So let's draw a circle here um, with a radius of, of 5, which is half of 10. All right, once that's out of the way, let's select these two lines here and let's place them on our center line here. Let's select this circle here, type TR, enter, and we'll trim away here and here. All right, now let's repeat the process on the other side. Now it says that from here to the other side um, is, um, what is it? It is actually 130 millimeters away. So let's offset 130 to my right. All right. And then I'm going to select the line that I just offsetted, and then I'm going to trim away everything here, leaving only the center line on that side. Then, because this is a symmetrical object, I can easily mirror to the other side. So whenever you have you have a symmetrical object, you only have to do half the work because you draw it once and you like mirror it to the other side or copy it. So I'm using the center of this line here as my mirror axis, and then I'm going to click there. Move my cursor down and then click again. It will ask me, do I want to delete the, or the image or the object that I want to uh, mirror? I select no, I don't want to. Then we have the general outline of the object here. The only thing that's remaining now is for us to draw the mounting brackets here. So we're going to add those now. Now let's draw a line in the center like this. And just like what we did before. Now if you say, for example, um you're drawing everything here right and you have everything about let's draw a line up here all right let's copy this here cp and i'm going to place it somewhere here like that you don't have to stress yourself in time trying to calculate the measurements and everything all you need to do is read the lines down from either ends of your um object so for example here right um you, you radiate a line down and that will represent the bolt. All right. We do the same here as well. All right. Like just like that. Now for um, the diameter of the bolt, it's basically what is up here. So if, say for example, um, you have a line probably here. All right. And you have a line probably here. If you were to select both of these lines here and move them down, because this is a circular object, right? So it therefore means that this thing here is symmetrical. So if we if we select both of these lines here and type CT and press enter, using here as our uh, grab point, and then we place a copy right here. This is exactly what up here would look like, or it, lo it is representing what is here, because it's a circle. No matter what direction you look at the circle, it's going to be the same thing. So all we'll have to do is fillet using the radius tool and just fillet the edge here and this will represent the bolt. Alright? So what it and that's the thing with autographic. You radiate lines and it will um, generate everything else that you may need. So let's select both these lines here and let's trim um, away here and here. Alright, now that's out of the way. Next time now to draw the bracket portion, which is here. Now 
The bracket portion is also a circle. Therefore, it means that everything here will be equal as well, somewhat. Alright, so we're drawing a line across like that. Alright, so all we'll do, let me just draw a line from here to here. And I'll do the same from here to here. And I'm going to select both lines. Both lines. And I'm going to copy or move them. I'm going to move it down. All right, because this is a symmetrical object. All right, so that's what that will look like from the plan view. All right, now um, once I've done that, it's time for me to repeat the process of trimming here and here. All right, now it's time for us to say um, add this portion here, which is basically this bracket here, which is equal to 10. So what I'm going to do I'm going to draw a line here, like this, and I'm going to offset 5 on either side to represent that portion there, 5 on either side. Just like that, let's delete that. Now, here, if you're looking at it, it looks like a curve or a circle, an object, because of the curve or whatever it may be. Now, what I'm going to do here is to... draw a circle at this point here so right here and this is random here uh right well right in the center like that and i open my circle to this point here i'm going to select this line and i'm going to trim here all right and i'm going to select this circle and i'm going to move this circle right in the center to this point here all right now that will represent that and I select this line and I mirror to the other side just like um, say this select yes no no I don't want to delete then I'm going to select both these lines here no and then delete them and I'm going to select these two here and then mirror to the other side just to make my life easier move my cursor to the right and then click no I don't want to delete all right now these look funny but um, that's just how I'm going to leave them. Now at this point now it's time for me to replicate. Well, I'm going to select these lines here. Um, and this one here. But I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this line here. Or this portion here. Alright. Now it's saying that this thickness is also 10. So it's safe to say if I offset it 5 up on these lines here. So up this direction and down this direction um, I will be okay so let's select those lines there I'm going to select this line and I'm going to um, trim here and here all right how far does it go across or back you use our elevation here to radiate a line down and that will indicate how far down it goes but if you're looking here you're seeing where it's fall or it has fall so it's somewhere about here. Therefore, it means that we have to select this line here and trim away the portion that is not needed. All right, here. Let's get rid of that there. Well, let's leave it. All right, and I'm going to select these lines here. And I'm going to trim the middle portion like this. And I'm going to fill it here and here. And then repeat the fillet here and here. All right, just like that. Then I am going to select this line here and this line I have no further use and delete them. I'm going to now match the properties by typing MA, pressing enter, clicking on this. I want to copy the property of this and I want to apply it to this and this. Alright, simple. Now these here, I did something wrong. Well, not did something wrong. Uh, I'm going to paste these two lines here on my, on my hidden detail layer as these would be hidden. From uh, view now once I've done that it's no time for me to um, replicate this on the other side so what I'm going to do I'm going to select this line here or select everything here pretty much almost everything here all right so everything here except my bold portion here as well as these here all right and I'm going to mirror it to the other side using the center of my object here as the mirror line all right, I'm sure that we're there. Down. 
no i don't want to delete and then that will represent that there now it's time for us to draw this portion here that's this portion here so now as i said before this will be a replica of what is down here so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply select that one there and i'm going to well copy it out into the open like this all right then i'm going to ungroup enter select this well says let's delete that um here i'm going to delete my hatch i have no need for that then i am going to um select these line here these will be will become hidden detail all right um then i'm going to fill it or i could extend type ex extend this to that to this extending um this line here all the way i'm also going to select these line here well not these but the vertical ones as well and then delete i'm going to select all of these now and type ex and press enter and then i'm going to extend that and that down all right extend them down all right and that's what that will look like now let's do the bushing portion now the, for the bushing let me copy my bushing as well let's copy both bushing all at once let's copy our bushing and let's move them to a similar location to where they was um like that now let's select both and ungroup them ungroup on um group all right accept let's check here let's get rid of our well only one got ungrouped so let's select this one and ungroup it as well now let's delete this and this hatching as well we won't need those now for these lines here these lines will become in detail line all right based on where they fall a lot of this will become in detail line so um let's get rid of this line as well here all right now for the bushing as you can see here there's a line that goes all the way across so you know we're going to have to repeat the process so we're going to select these here and then we're going to extend the line down to meet them so ex enter and let's extend these lines to meet all right now that represent that portion there now let's move it into i believe that these line here as well will also be in details or in detail line all right the only portion that will be um, visible are these portion here so let's select everything here and let's group all right let's group our pulley as well and let's move these into place so let's move grabbing it probably here and then um, doing it like that now the all of that looks okay it's now time to place it where it needs to be here now for our bolt um, we're copying our bolt CP all right let's place our bolt it will be here down nothing has changed all right but we're not going to paste it as yet let's paste it here now let's move this into place so we're moving this here all right where are we going to grab it let's see if we can find a mutual point all right um let's move grabbing at this corner here and let's place it right here now immediately realize that um let's see here oh it got placed at the wrong location let's move it up a bit first let's see oh our pulley let's move our pulley up as well let's ensure that everything is lined up all right so let's draw a line from here down all right that looks okay from here as well down oh 
So when we were mirroring this, it actually it got accidentally placed at the wrong location. So I'm going to select everything here and then uh, move it um, over a bit. So I'm selecting everything here and I'm going to type M on my keyboard to move and I'm going to move it across. All right, right across like that. All right, now I can move my pulley thing here, moving it from the center here all the way down perpendicular yeah right there all right and that's where that will be let's delete this line or guideline now it's time for us to add our bolt now i believe that for a bolt let's ungroup our bolt all right um for the portion that will be um not visible we'll have to hatch that well turn it into hidden detail so for example between here and here will be in hidden detail so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this line here and I'm going to trim everything here. Alright, like that. Alright, then I'm going to redraw these lines. Alright, on my in detail layer. So redrawing here, all the way across here. Alright, and let's um, do the same for the other portion. Let's just copy these though so i'm copying here to here to here and then here and then that would be good there then i can simply match the property of this line here to this portion here then i can now regroup my object all right now um for another portion which is this bold port portion here we'll have to make adjustment for that as well so what i'm going to do let's select copy because it's about nothing will change it will have the same outline so i'm going to get on group on group and let's get rid of our hatching now this portion here will become an in detail layer line and let's now group and let's move it into place grabbing it here and let's paste it right here all right now that will represent that portion there now it's time to add our bolt into place now notice what happened some of some more portion of our, our bolt here will become in detail all right so everything from here going forward so what i'm going to do is I select that line tr enter and trim here and now we can now select this line and just extend these in detail lines all the way across yeah get rid of here let's now group everything here group and let's now move them it into place so let's move m enter and let's move it into place all right so everything will be aligned here so there are some overlapping lines but this is what the plan view will look like so all i'm going to do is copy this um drawing type here and paste it down below here and i'm going to rename so by double clicking on it rename it and I'm going to type um, plan um, view. Everything will remain as is and type OK. Let's select and drag this line back further like that. Now, the only thing that's left for us to do is to do an end elevation. All right, let's delete this line. Now, for the end elevation, what we'll do. Um, remember that this is an orthographic drawing so if we draw a horizontal line across here like this I'm going to draw a vertical line here and remember this is our elevation then we have our plan here so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw a line here let me turn this off ensure that this is on I'm going to draw a line at an angle of 45 all right like this just like that and now at this point now i can simply extend lines or radiate lines across to touch this 45 degree line then where i already touched the 45 degree line i can send line vertically all right to represent my end um view all right so that's what we're going to do now all right so let's extend those lines across so we have we're going to type l press enter let's go back to our construct object layer rather and let's radiate lines across from here across repeating the process from here across all right we're going to do the same um, for here as well across and we're going to do this in portion we don't want to confuse things all right or confuse ourselves 
all right so that there next thing I'm going to do I'm going to extend line from here across let me turn on auto across from here as well across all right now where these lines touches my 45 degree line here that I have I'm going to read it lines up at that um, then I'm just going to simply copy this one here and place it here here and here all right now this portion here will represent the base which is here and here only so what I'm going to do now I'm going to select both these lines and I'm going to trim away everything below and everything above now I'm going to select these two lines and I'm going to trim everything to my left and everything to my right all right I'm then going to select both these lines here and I'm going to change them to um, in detail just like that all right next thing I'm going to do let me um, erase these here I'm now going to do the portion that we represent here which is um, the rest of the body all right so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw a line from here across like that then from here across like that all right all right um so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to do this um little brace thing here first so i'm going to radiate line from here across so let's see across then from here across all right now where it touches my 45 degree line i'm going to draw a line up like this then I repeat the process a line from here up to here perpendicularly then I'm going to select this line here and I'm going to trim away everything below all right just like that now that will represent um, here that's this here that's that thickness now this here as a width all right meaning that it goes across somewhat all right now it seems as if it's also sloping as well so it therefore means that um, we're going to do some lines to represent that all right now let's complete this portion here now this portion here is a circle all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a line from the center here up at like this let me select this line here tr and press enter and let's get rid of this portion here and this is just so i can find um the center so i can draw simply draw a circle within the center here like this all right makes sense or maybe not all right now here what i'll do leaving here as is i'm going to draw another circle and this circle here will be equal to this here in terms of like the, the radius so what i'm going to do i'm draw a circle here in the center open it like this to that point there all right at this point now we're doing a bunch of circles um to include here so let me get rid of these here that i have now so i'm going to draw a line from here across like this i'm going to draw another circle to here all right this one here is representing this i'm going to do another one or another circle let me just uh, move this um, to this point here and i'm going to draw another circle from the center to this here this one here will be in in detail repeating the process at the other point so we're going to move here um to where is it here now what we're doing here is kind of sort of wrong kind of sort of because if we're doing um um a first angle it therefore means that what we're drawing on this side here which is basically what is here um this should actually be on this side here but i'm just going to continue and draw it and then i'll just mirror it or uh, mirror it to the other side all right that's what i'm going to do if we're doing a first angle it therefore means that third angle then it will be okay but our plan would need to be up top all right 
so let's see if we can complete this here now we did the other circle and this one here will also be in, in detail all right so that represent that there let's close that out now at this point no um we'll have our bolt will be here as well so it therefore means that this circle here will also be in hidden detail i'm going to get rid of this line now because i have no further use for it all right now at this point now what we can do we can start adding some other stuff so we could do like for the trading we could offset that um two in words like this i guess all right let's offset one all right this is most of what we'll need for this portion here it's now time for us to draw this part here all right which is um this part that goes across like that but all I'm going to do is to draw a line from, say, here to here. All right. And from here to here. However, um, this should actually curve into this somewhat. Um, so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to draw a line from here at an angle of 45. All right. Let's turn this off. Turn that on. 45. All right. That's where that will fall. All right. And let's mirror it to the other side using the center here. All right, don't click. No. All right, that will represent that portion there. All right, this should also curve into this somewhat. So, what I'm going to do, I'm, um, it says curves are two. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw a line here, down, like that, and I'm going to offset two. This direction here. All right. And I'm going to extend it so that it touches my circle. Like that. And I'm going to trim away this lower portion here. I'm going to use this here as my curving um, center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a circle. Circle from the center here down like this. Alright, let's see. This may work or may not work. Alright, now for this part here, alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move um, my um, circle over a bit more. Alright, and for here, I'm, I'm literally highballing it. So let me turn on Arthur. Alright. All right, let's move it in a bit. Let me turn off my snapping. Yeah, something like that. Selecting um, this line here and this one here, and I'm going to trim here. Now, it's not touching this, hence the reason. So what I'm going to do, let's move it in a bit more. All right, then let's do it again. So let's select line and line, TR, enter, and let's get rid of that. Oops. All right, so let's see here. Select um, here. All right, and here, TR, enter, and let's see. Let's get rid of this now. All right, here, get rid of that. Um, let's um, see if we can fill it here to here. All right, uh, not working, so let's trim here. All of this is one. Now I can simply mirror to the other side. Let's select, mirror. Um, turn on my snapping feature again click go to down and no I don't want to delete and that will represent that portion there 
Now, um, for the outer circle here, this big circle here, because this here, here will be blocking um, this portion here, I will not be able to see it. Therefore, it means that here has to be in detail. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line across from here, just like that. And I'm going to select the line here. All right, or I'm going to select um, this line here. Because that's the portion. No? Or, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Here, if it's circular. Or maybe it will only be like here that I wouldn't see. I could be wrong, but, um... So that portion there, what I'll have to do, I'll have to redraw that circle here by like this. And then I'll have to select these line again and then I'll have to trim. But instead of trimming the big circle, I will only trim this small circle or the second circle that I created. Let's place this on the in detail layer. Alright. So at least I'm sure about that one there. And even this part here as well, I think here will also be everything beyond here. Oh yeah, it's here from here to here. Here and here. All right, and now I'm just going to extend these out. Well, um, let me turn this off to here. And here, all right, and that will represent my elevation. All right, so let's me to copy this here, CP, enter, and let's paste it right here. And this is my end view, so I'm gonna type end view here for the elevation. So, end view, apply, okay, then that's it there. Now at this point, now person may be asking about the scaling thing. What they're referring to is this thing here. Now say for example you draw at a scale of 1 in 1. So you leave this as is. Alright. Now here I also indicated the scale that I use. 1 in 1. So when I'm doing my laying out now. Say for example I go right click here and go, go from template. And I'm going to select sheet set. Um, I'm just going to go with architectural metric. Select A1, OK. Let me rename this. Assem. Alright. And then I'm going to click here. Alright. I'm going to add my viewing port. V port. Typing that. I'm going to select the single. OK. And I'm going to draw my viewing port here. Alright. And I'm going to double tap inside. Zoom here. And I'm going to zoom in on my, well, I'm not, I'm going to set my scaling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select right here where it says um, 0 point whatever. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to enter 1 to 1. All right. Now my drawing has been scaled to 1 to 1 on this paper. All right. So the only thing that's left for me to now do is just to pan around and place my object into place. All right. Just like that. Then I click on the outside like this. So move my cursor to the outside, escape a few times, click on the outside, that's safe. Let's select this, paste it on our zero on our depth point layer because we don't want it to be printed. Let's hold on control, press P. Let's modify some stuff inside here now. So I'm gonna go here first where it says none, and I'm gonna click on the drop down menu, select monochrome, go over here and select um, general PDF document. I'm going to apply the layout and then I'm going to preview. Now this is what everything will look like after I've done everything. Now let me go back and I'm going to go to my model space and I'm going to delete these lines. Alright, you can also delete this as well but it's time for us to add our symbol. We're doing a first angle so let me select these straight line here and I'm going to mirror it to the other side. Mirror. Alright, I'm using the center of my object here. 
All right, no, uh, what I'm going to do, let's select this line here, TR, enter. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And I am going to, I don't know how far this is, so from here to here. All right, let's move it. So everything looks pretty nice. So this should be here. All right, then I'm going to use my mirror tool now. So I'm selecting here, here, and I'm going to mirror down like this. Let me turn on author and then click. Select yes, I want to delete what's over here. Let me move my image out of the way. All right, like that. And that's my object there. Let's delete this line here. And let's now delete these layouts here. I have no need for them. So right click, select delete. Yes, this one as well. Select delete. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's click on assemble. All right, now it's time for us to pan around again. So we're going to scale. Let's double click inside here. Scale is already at one to one. So let's pan and move our drawing into position like this. All right. Double click on the outside, escape, to deactivate the pan tool, double click, everything is good. Let's generate our PDF. So we're going to file, we're going to print. Where is it? Print. All right. Everything is okay. All right. Okay. Determine where we're going to save our PDF. All right. I'm going to our school. We're going to here. Um, we're going to exam past papers. Right, let's just go there. I think there's one that's just called past paper here. All right, so mechanical. All right, so let's save it. You write your name. I'm just going to write my name here though. All right. And you enter your candidate number. And then I'm going to save. Then it will generate my PDF. It has been saved. So here it is. All right. And when it's being printed, um, you will specify that is um, level by seven. Well, whenever it's going to get printed. Now for this portion, you remember you have to edit these. Add your name, your candidate number, and all of that fancy stuff. All right. And there you go. This paper completed.